Hello and welcome, I'm Nathan42 and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Jellyfin, an alternative to Plex. Okay, so if you guys haven't heard of Jellyfin before, it's basically a fork of uh, MB. Now if you look at Jellyfin, it's a free software media system that you can use to watch your movies, TV shows, music, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it keeps it on your server. Uh, and it also is completely open source and free. Uh, I believe it's FOSS. I'm not entirely sure, but I believe it is uh, free open source software. Um, MB, on the other hand, has recently decided to make the move to become. Uh, I believe they recently closed the source or something like that. So it wasn't it wasn't an open source program anymore because the source was closed. Um, and they have MB Premier, which was a cool service as well, which allows you to have like a lifetime membership for $120, and you can use offline media, free apps, cloud sync, uh, theater, which allows you to. I believe was that the one where you get the. Uh, oh no, cinema mode. Cinema mode gives you the true cinema experience with trailers and custom intros before the feature, which is pretty cool. Uh, folder sync, if you ever need that, I guess, uh, and podcasts as well, so you can download your favorite podcasts and stuff onto here. And also it had a thing for smart home. So, I mean, it all depends on what kind of thing you want and how you feel about it. Um, I do like MB still. I've got nothing against MB, but I kind of wanted to go with Jellyfin just to see what this was like. Uh, and to see um, and and just to kind of guarantee that I wouldn't get locked out of my own system at some point in the future, which is probably not going to happen to MB anyway. There's actually a very easy way to install Jellyfin on here, um, and it, it just requires one line of code. So if you go onto here, you can see you've got Plex. So if you wanted to install Plex, you can just click install. I've not tried it on here, but I'm pretty sure it does work. Um, unlike the next cloud did for me, but I'm going to try and sort that out another time. I might try and install it in the back end so that I can have full control and know exactly what's going on with it. The thing that you need to do on here is I've got a line here. I'll put it in the descriptions uh, of this video. It is basically just this docker run dash d dash v mnt. Now, obviously, you need to modify this to your own config areas. Um, if you need to see mine, I will do it this, this way. So what you need to do is you need to create a new thing on your storage called jellyfin conf and then this will be mount um your um <clears throat> mount your data set and then the folder inside so your share of that data set so i accept uh jellyfin conf is the one for me uh and then slash config goes to config so this what this does is it lines the folder on the drive that it creates, or the container that it creates, sorry, up with config. So that's the config, that's the cache, and that's the media. And the media is where you want to put your stuff, the the good videos, and music, and you know whatever you want that you have on there. Net host, Jellyfin, Jellyfin latest, and then all you want to do from this, it's very simple. Just press enter. So what it does is then able to find the Jellyfin locally. So what it does is it pulls it from the from the records that they have. Very useful. If you go, I mean, there's loads of different records as well. You can do this very similar thing for other things as well. On uh, if you go hub hub dot docker dot com, I think it was. Um, yeah. So you can search up here. Say you want a lamp server which is something that I do want to get in the future. Um, I think uh, <laughs> this might be what, ah, some of these might work. I don't, yeah, I mean, I've not looked into this very well. Oh, here we go. A simple lamp Docker container Im image running the prerequisites for concrete f uh, five. So, I mean, this should probably work for most things. So what you can do is you can just use this as your uh, thing, you can you can do a um, Docker compose, I guess, or whatever, and just like that, it's installed. So what you can what I can do is go to my Jellyfin page, and there it is. There's Jellyfin, and it's all set up and ready for you to run 
Um, there's uh, a couple of really cool plugins for this. If you was to use books or animate on your server, you go into plugins down here. You go, you got my plugins catalog. So you want to go to <clears throat> the catalog, obviously, um, and on here you can just click anime and bookshelf, uh, and even cover art archive is pretty good. Um, I'm not using that this time, but yeah, there we go. Uh, then you can go on here. Version 5 for me didn't install for Bookshelf, so I went with version 4. But uh, your your mileage may vary. Um, and then anime as well, obviously. Um, and then if you go back, I mean, you've got a working server on here for, for this. And, you know, that didn't take very long at all to set up. Now, in the future, um, this isn't going to restart with your PC. So, uh, basically, it's not going to restart with your server, which is fine if you keep your server up for multiple days at a time. It can be a little bit annoying for people who don't do that. Um, all you have to do is you have to uh, call it to open it again. It's fine, um, and you—I mean—you can set up a system CTL in order to make it auto start on the um, startup or whatever. I'm not going to do that because I don't know how to do that just yet. Um, I, I saw a brief thing yesterday about that, and yeah, but I'll, I'll just show you how to start and stop it if you need to start and stop it. So you want to go to Docker. Um, well, first you want to find out what it's called. So you do put Docker PS. So because I installed it without a name, it gave itself a little name. So focused Albertani is the name of this thing. So what you want to do is you want to go Docker rename focused albatani and then just call it jellyfin very original name very good name <laughs> as well so now if you did the same command oh where is it same command now it's called jellyfin there instead of focused albatani so now you just want to do is just docker start jellyfin and then it starts jellyfin i'm not going to do that because it's already open I don't know if that'll mess it up. I don't want to create two containers for it. But uh, Docker is a very interesting software that I'm still trying to get my head around. Um, and I just thought I'd kind of share this information with you guys because it could be very useful. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. I might try and set up a LAMP server later. If I do that, I will probably make a video about how to do it. Or maybe I'll just say in the, in the comments of this, do it the same as I did for the other one because it probably is the same to be honest um and that is it from me now if you guys are pros with docker and the setup we have here which actually uses helm and kubernauts then i would really um appreciate a bit of assistance with it because <laughs> i'm not the best at it but it I, I you know i feel like i can do what i need to with it at the moment apart from when it comes to next cloud i need to add an extra volume to an image and i don't know how to do that <laughs> It just seems kind of um, it. It feels like it's like one code of line, one line of code away from me being able to do it. But I don't know what that line of code is, or where to put it, or where to find it, even for the for that matter as well. So that is it for this video. Don't forget to come and subscribe. Let me know what you think. Follow me at nafe 42 and thank you for watching. Wow.